What is up, guys? I will hope you all are having a very happy Halloween. Guys, I wanted to bring you somewhere with us exciting for the Halloween time. Chris, what do you think? You ready to do this? Yeah. yeah I mean, it's perfect for Halloween, right? Oh, yeah. How more? How much more haunted and creepy can it be than to actually investigate a haunted funeral home? Guys, we are in Kosciuszko, Mississippi at Old Southern Funeral Home. And guys, this place is insane. I want to send, send out a very special thanks to Southern Paranormal for having us to come visit Old Southern Funeral Home, guys. I'm going to drop a link to their website down in the description. Be sure to go check them out. Guys, it's open to everybody. If you want to come check it out and experience this place for yourself, feel free to hit them up. Hit up Donald, they're a great host. Guys, we've got it all night. We're gonna bring you along with us on this investigation. The claims here are incredible. Shadow figures, disembodied voices, things being moved, footsteps. Guys, and I'm telling you what, upstairs has the creepiest vibe ever. Very, very creepy. You like it? Oh yeah. Guys, this place is phenomenal. Get ready for this. This adventure is gonna be epic. All right, guys, we'll see you on the inside. Let's go do it, Chris. Alright guys, I'm so we're going dark and I'm gonna take this and set this up. Shooting down here, you will see that we've actually got a laser grid going. And I'm gonna make sure that you guys can see it. All right, I'm gonna let that run, guys. And if you, so be sure if you see anything or even if you hear anything in the mic while we're investigating and you're watching these clips too, if you hear anything or see anything, be sure to let us know in the comments. Okay? All right, guys. Let's get into the rest of it. So, guys, we're fixing the, we're fixing to go lights out. We are officially in the dark, as you can see. That is down the hallway and with the flashlight and we are going dark. Now, this is our equipment room. We're gonna get set up real quick, get our stuff together and then we'll get ready to go dark, fully dark. All right, stay tuned guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you this. This is the main corridor right here. This is the front entry. Oh, I'm going to lock that door. We're in here by ourselves. We have, it's just me, Ouija, Chris, and the guy behind the camera that you don't ever see, Rick. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to show you guys this place. And then, believe it or not, we are going lights out in the dark. So... I don't see where they are at yet, but we'll go ahead and get everything together. So you can see this is kind of our base setup. You can see we got the pair rig set up, ready to go. We got our gear set up, all the cameras. We have night vision going. Um, make sure I got everything on and ready to go. If we need to listen to any live audio, we can. Um, so real quick, let me find Chris and let me show you this. So we're coming down the main hallway and on to the right, right here, right here, we have, this is parlor A and as you see, there's a child's casket that was found, actually found 
in storage here. Oh, and you see, we've actually got Sister Sarah with us. See if we can elicit a response. One of the spirits that they know actually is here. They believe is a uh, believe is a little girl. So we're gonna try to elicit a response, guys. Over forty two hundred people have came through here to be prepared for burial and to have their service here, where they were buried at another location. But anyway, guys, so we got another parlor, Parlor B, which is a visit, like a visitation parlor, and another casket that was found. I believe this one, they actually, I believe Southern Paranormal actually purchased that one. But um, in here, they've actually captured voices, on EVPs, and they've also captured disembodied voices. They've captured a shadow figure on this wall right here. So we're gonna set the night vision camera up in here. Uh, another visitation area. And you may remember um, Miranda actually came over here and investigated this place a while back in season two episode two and that's she actually captured this picture on the wall right here falling from the nail and they so they never placed it back up there they left it sitting on the ground there's a ball on the floor we try to see if we can't get that to move maybe we'll try to see if we can capture that on camera um chris how do you feel about this place it's spooky, spooky. <laughs> what about upstairs that seems to be the worst uh, guys, we were, I was up there showing Chris around and we were, we were hearing stuff right off the bat. Chris actually thought maybe they had like a washing machine up there going. We heard some noises right off the bat and he wanted to make sure there wasn't nothing up there running. So guys, here, here is the chapel. I'm waiting till you guys actually see this freaking coffin it is like grande coffin for like <clears throat> you could probably literally bury three people in this coffin anyway check this out guys so this thing is freaking huge just to give you an idea you can see my hand and just how freaking big it is and so they also believe oh i didn't tell you this story chris so anyway so there's a guy they know he was he used to work here mm -hmm. right and he was an honorary old man honorary old man they said and he worked here and when he retired he didn't want to quit he didn't want to leave right like he wanted to keep working mm -hmm. and he actually lived in a house right back here behind us and they would have to physically make him leave and go home because and run him off back home because he kept wanting to come over here and work hmm. even though he was retired hmm. and but they said he was like a real honorary old man you know and just old school hmm. like you know and they've caught a male's voice with uh, you know some obscenities you know some some words of persuasion that we won't mention but uh, they've caught that on audio and they think that it may possibly be him. And so, because he worked here so long. Hmm. So, anyway, guys, so we have that. We've got the pulpit up here. Um, he's one of the voices that they've captured down here that they've heard. So, we have the utility, utility room, all the light controls for the chapel that we'll be turning off here in a little bit. And, <coughs> excuse me. So, out back. Out back right here is going to be where actually the <clears throat> hearses would bring the bodies in. As you see right there, total classic 83 Cadillac hearse. Cadillac Concourse, I believe is what it's called. And so, anyway guys, I want y'all to go upstairs with us. Um, I want y'all to see this firsthand. You're not going to believe the things we found. This place is phenomenal. 
there's there's a lot of history here we found a, there's a lot of artifacts left behind that they actually have documenting procedures that were done here and people that came through that were prepared here for burial um, there I mean everything everything personal about people like I said uh, matter of fact Jimmy Jameson from survivor actually came through here and was prepared here and his service was held here at this funeral home so anyway guys we're gonna take off we're gonna run upstairs we're gonna show you guys upstairs what do you think Chris want to go upstairs let's go upstairs and we'll uh <clears throat> we'll go upstairs and we will show you guys upstairs and we'll get ready to uh start investigating and we'll get everything set up so chris is getting his camera set ready to go Ooh, it is hot in here Just dead air literally dead air oh. <laughs> 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 you don't need a flashlight right now. You'll need it in a few minutes, so we promise. It gets pitch black in here. So, guys, if you watched the Facebook live feed earlier, you would have known that we showed you guys we showed you guys all of the downstairs area, but we would not show you upstairs. We said you were going to have to watch the video to see. We had actually had some technical problems, so we weren't able to go to YouTube live. But uh, anyway, now is the time that you actually get to see. You actually get to see what's up here. I thought I heard something. All right, guys. I really didn't want to show you right off. I hope I did. Coming in. Oh, we're coming up here. So anyway, you guys, this room is actually where they would have. Wheeled the, wheeled the body in. They would have brought it up. Here's the uh, the elevator. They would have lifted the party up here to be prepared for burial. And here, guys, is your embalming room. So, the artifacts you see here, of course, is about, other than the bouncy ball with the penny laid on top. Um... The artifacts here, I mean, the, just the, the energy I feel off the property left behind here is absolutely overwhelming. I can feel the anxiety building in me already. Hey, Andrea. Yeah. Come here. So the K2 meter is already going oh. off. Is it your phone? Your phone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, can Wait we... a minute. My phone's downstairs. Uh, what? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> That's oh. not your phone, dude. Oh, let me let me turn this off. Hold on. My phone's on airplane mode. Dude. I turn it on airplane mode airplane. when you pulled up. Okay. As you can see, my phone's on airplane mode. <sighs> dude, it's like that. Everything, what? everything there is electrically charged. Yeah. Just barely enough to give the hum. Whoa, man. Look at that. Okay. D that is, is there something on the bottom of this? No. Maybe. No. no. It's it, bare. It, yeah. And it's rubber wheels. Yeah. It's insulated, so it's not like sitting on a... Whoa, that's... Whoa. <sighs> Do that again. <laughs> that is crazy. <gasps> that's insane. I I've never seen nothing like that. So guys, like, literally, these are actually covers that they put behind your eyelids after you pass away. And that's actually to help keep your eyes shut. Um, guys, there's all these artifacts were left behind here. They're original to the funeral hall, even down to that. So, that is weird. you can actually see. 
There you go. It's like constantly. Yeah. Only when you go back down to the to yeah. the gurney, and they told me that this place is baseline, that you shouldn't get any hits. Even though there's electricity on here, there should be no hits. Be baseline at zero. Yeah. See. They're in there. What? Is it? It couldn't because it couldn't be because of this, would it? No. I mean, yeah. Look at that. No, it's still going on. What? Yeah. See? That is crazy. Let me put it right here. Yeah. And then you put it on the pillow. It's constant. And it's dead. Yeah. Well. Nothing. It's kind of doing it, but barely. And it's just, it's just a, a mat. It's just Ooh. a rubber mat. I'm pretty sure that's an old ass mat. Stretcher, yeah. So guys, and everything, there's so much stuff left behind. I, I'm sure you can imagine what this is. I don't have to tell you, but you know, that's a suction. And I'm sure you can imagine with this thing. There's poison. What it was for. Poison. Um, one of the claims up here in this room is that there's something kind of negative here that hangs out up here. They're seeing shadows across over here in the closet. You can see there's still stuff left behind in the cabinets. Hey, what's that smell? You smell that? That's gonna be now. That is gonna be power. Yeah, that's power for downstairs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We were trying to figure it out. Okay. That's why we were like, you know. Now we have makeup. A little bit of color enhancer for the old body after rigor mortis is set in. Give you a little bit of color back. Try to make you look as normal as possible. There's still actually embalming fluid left in here, as you can see. <coughs> Dude. I open that cabinet and it's got, man, yes. I'm fixing it. <laughs> I told you, man, I got hit with this weird ass smell. But anyway, guys, so all kinds of embalming fluid, that's crazy. Like, yes, yeah, totally. What, what, when I open that cabinet, the smell that hit me is in, insane. Oh, some of the stuff left behind here, some of the, uh, some of the instruments that were used. Also, some of the personal items that were left are still here, even like the teeth, glasses. This place is absolutely... Insane. I cannot wait for it to go dark. Are you ready for that, Chris? Oh, yeah. So ready. Is it cool that we're in your space? We just want to have a little chat. We apologize for disturbing y'all. Hello, my name is Eric. I'm 
I'm here with Chris and Ouija. Donald invited us to come here. Hello. Whoever spoke, can you come there and speak again? Again, I'm Eric. This is Chris and Luigi. Donald invited us here to come and speak with you. Can you come forward and talk to us? Nope. 
Who needs help? We're here to help. How can we help you? Come on, help us. There's a ball sitting right here in the floor beside me. Great big green orange ball. Can you move that ball for me? Just go over there and kick it. Push it. make a noise for us we would appreciate it to know that you're here can you just give us a sign and let us know that you're here Maybe that air vent was hitting it right there. But there ain't no air blowing on. Okay. The air's blowing up high. Yeah. 
Yeah, so then that means blowing. the camera caught me going. It's not moving nope. now, and the air is still blowing. Yeah. So yeah, we had to have caught it on camera. <laughs> if you're still in here, can you can you move that uh move that move that bib for us again? Move the apron, please. Just touch it, and make it move for us. I took a picture and I caught the light from the. Oh, okay. The only way I, I, the only way I saw it was off the light from the screen flip around. I could see it. Well, I'm know. hoping, I'm hoping that the uh, camera's up high enough to even catch I'm, that. I'm pretty sure it should be. Because what's at the top or the bottom? Oh no, it should have it. Okay. Can you make a noise for us? Make a noise for us somewhere. We're vulnerable. We're in the dark. We can't see. But we can hear you if you make a noise for us. Or if you come up to the gurney one of our machines will light up and let us know that you're here. Can you do that? At least let us know that you're here. Light it up for us. It's almost 5 a.m. and actually it is it's like well, I don't know if you can see that it's like 4:38 a.m. so anyway guys activity kind of slowed down we ain't really heard anything we ain't really got anything um, we got a ton of footage to go through and a ton of audio we're gonna take a quick nap before we get out of here and drive all the way back to Memphis and I'm actually going to sleep on the church pew behind me and take a quick nap. And Chris is going to take a nap. I've got the cameras still rolling. I'm going to leave this camera rolling as long as it'll go. And if you see anything or if you hear anything, be sure to let us know down below in the comments. Guys, man, this has been a spectacular night. It's been fun. It's been creepy. I'm glad Chris made it. Um, <laughs> we had a little bit of car trouble, but we made it. Anyway, guys. Um, well, maybe nothing happens. Maybe it does. I don't know. You'll be here to see it. Anyway, guys, so hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, guys.